Even though Ochako might be a little late. Just hear her out. What just happened? Who? Welcome back to another jam-packed episode of My Hero Academia Season 7, Episode 20. Before we get to the episode, though, don't forget to hit the like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more amazing content coming to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into the episode. Okay, so we got the aftermath here of what happened with the Todoroki family reunion. Whether you cry or laugh tomorrow will come with impartially. If this is the case, then let's laugh, Toga. Good old Dobby. People live the laugh. Toya, were you able to laugh? He was more able to cry. There's Ochako. I really feel like she could talk her out of this because Toga really does not feel like a true villain. I just feel like she just was misunderstood, so it led her to this path. Like, she's really not that evil. She just wants to be loved. And I feel like Ochako is the one that could break the mold and help shift the tide of this war if you take away toga and sad man's parade that is a big win for the heroes and we are one step closer to ending this war so i'm rooting for you i'm rooting for you let's save toga just like we saved dobby okay we got the sad man's parade over here going they look like a bunch of ants i'll annihilate the heroes there's no end to them there isn't stop you ain't gonna stop them oh no if the earth flow stop they'll get through Sad man's death parade. Oh, Toga is multiplying herself, transforming into twice. Toga's quirk transform has a time limit based on how much blood she ingests. But the heroes have no way of estimating how much blood she can stock. She had stocked. That's true. And whether or not they tried to figure it out, once the doubles broke through, they wouldn't be able to take over their surrounding in no time at all. He can't do nothing. He is damaged. Let's go, Chaco. Go away, heroes. Toya. What happened to you? Did you die? Going away too? Yo, she's gonna lose it if she thinks that. <gasps> oh, Chaco, she says, wait, bitch. I need to talk to you still. Zero gravity? I've only known you since last summer, but you made me change how I thought. I told you, you're too late. Sorry, I'm late. Shut up. You were crying. It must have been because you couldn't be, you couldn't be twice. Couldn't become him completely. It could mean that she doesn't like Shikaraki and the others. That's what Sue guessed. But after seeing Himiko Toga's tears, I think I understand. It's because you have you have murdered intent into you. So now you feel it isn't quite a pure like Shut up, Ochako. What do you think you know about me? No, don't kill Sue. Froppy. Even though you grew up waiting, wanting nothing. Even though you just matched what the norm was. Even though you were just born to eat to an easy life. It's a little bird. You killed a sparrow and drank its blood. Smiling while you did it. No, it fell in the garden. Alright, let's correct this behavior and make you normal. It's a provision frequency seen in kids with strong quirks. It's common in this society. Let's train her out and get rid of it. Himiko, your face looks scary. What are you doing? You look like a deviant. She never wanted to talk about the same things as us. Just live a normal life. This is so fucked up. What can't you just be normal? Himiko, they said you sucked your friend's blood. No, I just sucked on it because it was bleeding. It's not normal. Dude, she was so misunderstood as a kid. So every little piece of event that has happened, though, she literally didn't do all these terrible things people said. They just took it out of context. Oh, my God. they People made the villains in this universe. Think about this. They made Toga a villain. This breaks my heart because, like, she actually could have been a very valuable... Like, she could have been a valuable hero. Like... They fucked up. They fucked this child's life up. Mama, dad, I didn't get it. I just don't get it. Doesn't everyone hold back even though they like it? Why won't everyone suck blood? No, she's rotten to the core. I've given birth to a child that's not human. That's why you put a lid on it. Suppressing yourself, putting on a mask. You became someone other than yourself. She's like, oh, Chaco, get Sue. No, that's not her. Oh, bitch. I'll annihilate the heroes. That fucking threw me for a loop. Oh my god. So wait, wait, wait. Her clones are literally using different people. Oh my god. So they're using Sue. So that means it's going to be twice Sue and Toga. Oh my 
Dude, she's she's literally the most powerful villain right now. I mean, I know that's so far fetched, but right now in this moment, in this little scenery, she's the most powerful villain. I'll annihilate the here's In order to fight against these numbers, we need to fight as one team. But if we get scattered and trick, then kill him right now. Then we have no way of stopping then. Annihilate. Toga, listen. I thought that to be a hero meant following the rules. And that not following the rules made someone a villain. But you know what, Toga? Right now, my friend isn't worried about the rules. She's trying to talk to you. I think that's harder than just trying to kill someone or capture them. It's much harder. Even though Ochako might be a little late. Just hear her out. What just happened? Who? This is crazy. Dude, Ochako just got fucking stabbed. How is she gonna survive? I thought she stabbed Sue for a second. No, she stabbed Ochako. Oh, man. I don't even know how this is gonna go. Dylan's probably freaking out right now. When he watched this, he probably freaking out because he is an Ochako. He loves Ochako. That's best girl. Your framework is different. The blessing and joy that you people talk about doesn't feel like that at all to me. Don't make me into someone you pity based on your rules. Speaking of which, Toga... You don't want to make a villain's name? It's just you and the boss without villain's names, huh? Having a name adds prestige. Vampires Camilla. Choo choo. Pikachu. He said Pikachu. How did they get away with that? How did you get away? I guess because like you're not spelling as Pikachu, but like look at the good old days when, when everything was nice and good in the League of Villains, I guess. Before like the crazy war shit happened. In the past, there was no difference between hero and villains. One explanation said that it was just a way to give a name. And then people started using them to hide their real identities. They were fake skins using to stay alive. Theory says that the world ended up turning into a comic book because of the Eliases. I don't need one. I don't think it's cool though. This is why I joined the league. I live as Himiko Toga. Don't pity me. It's not pity. Oh, straight kick to the face. She touched me. But it doesn't matter if I float right now. You want to throw me in the cage and throw me the death penalty, right? If not, you want to kill me like Jin was killed. Win or lose, live or die, this is a battle for survival. This, the norm, or both for us, isn't it? If it's not pity, then it's your ego. If it's the same for both of us. Can I just say one thing? This fucking music slapping. Why is this season so fucking hard on the music? Ochako getting this moment right now is just perfection. Then die, hero. We got the numbers for Sad Man's Legion. There's nothing you guys can do against this. This is impossible. Yeah, they'll grow stronger each generation and no one will be able to control them. This is the doomsday theory. I've heard about it for years. Yeah, it was today. World will change based on the emotions of one girl. Crush them. You just made me flow. I didn't take any damage. Yeah. Zero gravity isn't a power that used hurt used to hurt others. I would never feel happy about dropping someone. It's not pity, it's your ego. That might be true, but what? I can't ignore the fact that you intentionally kill people, but seeing your face makes me think there might have been a reason you had to do that. On that day when the world turned upside down, you had such a sad look on your face. That was you. I was that too. Listen, Toga, when we first met, I was scared of you because I didn't understand. How could you smile like that in this situation? Shut up. You live as Himiko Toga, then kill as many people as you want, and become whatever you like. Stop making that face. Die. Why won't you die? You might have pushed it away once. I might not worry that it's comforting for, comfortable for you to live in. I know that. But even so, I've seen so many happy faces, so I know. Do they know each other from back then? The expression you had when you said you liked someone was such a beautiful smile that it made me jealous. You look like a deviant. I don't want to pretend I never saw that smile of yours. Is this a quirk awakening? Did you see how it just like shot around everything? Like she was going... I didn't even notice it because like I was just struck by her amazing speech she's throwing right now at Toga. But did you see it's affecting everything around her? She is literally getting a quirk awakening. This series has been amazing so far. This season is living up to the hype. This hype is real. Wild. I can't make your crimes go away. I won't accept any everything about you. Even a little bit like you want to talk with me. 
And I'll give you as much blood as you want. I want to talk about love with you, Toga. They're floating. Even though Ochako didn't touch them, it spreads to everyone that was touching. Ochako's the GOAT. Ochako's the GOAT. She literally is single-handedly taking care of business. She's, she's stepping on business and floating business away. They're floating like a chain of, of beads. All I have to do is make more doubles. It doesn't matter. The same as what happened to me back then. When I almost died. I thought the girl's quirk couldn't float more than about three tons. They're all going so much since last year's training camp. Hell yeah. My body's starting to feel cold. She's not dying. You cannot make two characters die like that. First Bakugo, now Uchako. You're out of your damn mind. Save this girl. More importantly, right now, I just, I just want to touch you. To touch the sadness that's inside you. This is so beautiful. My family is poor and my parents often look so sad. I wanted them to be happy, to take it easy and be happy. So that's why I wanted to become a hero. Older I got, the more I realized there was more to the world than my parents and my home. I realized that other people existed. And then I fell in love with Midoriya. <gasps> she just said she fell in love with Midoriya and she officially finally said those words. Oh my God, this episode is goaded. And now I want to stop you. That's me. That's why I'm here right now. Tell me. Tell me what you think. What do you thought until now? Everything. I fell in love easily with animals, villains, heroes, boys, girls. Because everyone has such lovely blood flowing through them. I was told not to smile. That's shitty. I was jealous. Mizukio looked like that boy I liked. He does. His name was Sadio. I couldn't ask him for his blood. Because then he would have saw I wasn't human. Because he'd think I wasn't cute. Because like Ochako and Izukio, they just tell me what it was right way to live. That's why I joined the League of Villains. The place where I could live the way I wanted. This is so sim- Like, this symbolization is fucking crazy. And it took me so long to realize. Oh, time's up. Jin's blood is leaving me. Jin's disappearing. This is crazy beautiful. Yeah, Hochako. I actually also think this amazing when someone works so hard, they're all beaten up. I can't take the place of the League of Villains. But I thought I needed to tell you how wonderful your smile was. I... I love Uzukio and Ochako, but am I cute? The cutest in the world. Stop. Just stop. Two back-to-back -back sad fucking string tuggers. Oh, man. They are outdoing themselves. Fucking banger back-to-back -back episodes. I got. I have to see the fucking preview of the next episode because how do you outdo this? You gotta give us all for one versus all might. I'm sorry. We don't want, at this point, we don't want Izukiya, Madaria, and Shikaraki. Give us all might at this point now. You gave us two banger episodes for substitutes. You need to give us all fucking might. Here's the preview. It's finally time for them to meet the demon lord who steals quirks and the symbol of peace with no quirks. All for one and all might. It's time for their decisive battle. Oh, next time, battle without a quirk in order to stop the spiral of sadness turning to hatred. Go beyond. Pus Ultra. That was an amazing episode. There was beautiful music that went along with the choreography of the whole scene. We got to see a little bit more about Toga's background. They talked it out. To o Ochako went into her talk no juicy bag, and it was amazing. One of the best episodes, and I know my boy Lord Pickle was there rooting the fuck out of this episode because this episode was an absolute another banger. I'm just afraid with how the preview showed everything, it's gonna be half Ochako and half freaking Toga, which is nice, but they already got a full episode, and then you're going to flirt in fucking edge the shit out of us with fucking all for one versus all might and i'm gonna be pissed off because you've already edged us for two episodes so far especially with that title he is here so i'm telling you right now if we are going to get a fucking another hunger games fucking twilight just fucking edgelord shit that's gonna be happening and and it's gonna end on a fucking cliffhanger i'm gonna lose my absolute fucking mind because this final battle of part three between all for one and all might 
better be the best fucking thing you fucking pop to us because i will not accept anything less than fucking perfection if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like don't forget to subscribe and at the end of each episode always remember be good people i love you until next time you matter